Good morning, good morning. Hey, hallelujah. It's Debbie Paulson. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Glory to God in the highest. God is so good. He's so wonderful. He's so, oh my goodness, he's amazing. Happy Hanukkah. Hallelujah. Listen, you know what? Even as a Christian, you should celebrate. Why, you say? You know, well, we celebrate Christmas, okay? And that's because of the birth of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. But you know what? What about the miracles? Jesus celebrated Hanukkah. Yes, he did. Listen, we're one new man. We're blood-bought children of the Most High God. We have been incorporated, enveloped into him. So, you know, having at being a Christian and celebrating um, Hanukkah is, is amazing because it's celebrating miracles. It's celebrating life. It's celebrating, hallelujah, God is so good. It's celebration. Good morning. Good morning. Love you. Uzma, God bless you. So great to have you on with me this morning. Listen, I want to pray. Ooh, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your needs. I want to pray for each and every one that's, that's coming in the sound of my voice now and in the future. I want to bless your socks off. Listen, this season is a season of miracles. This season, listen, with Hanukkah, the ha Hanukkah is, listen, a, represent a representation I don't know why I couldn't get that out right. <laughs> of miracles. Listen, they carried the oil. The oil was supposed to only last for one night. It lasted for eight nights. Come on now. Woo! Listen, is that not a miracle or is it not? It is. Love you, sweetie. God bless you. I am so happy to see you. It's been a long time since you've been on. Listen, share these videos. Listen, I want to pray. I want to pray for you. Let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for who you are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua HaMashiach, for who you are and whose you are. We belong to you, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Lord Jesus, in the sound of my voice, that you would touch each and every one now and in the future, that you would heal them, that you would separate them and bless them. Let them know that they're separated for a reason, that they belong to you. Hallelujah. No longer are they of the world, but they of they are of Yeshua. They belong to you. Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you're doing in this season. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for signs, wonders, and miracles. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the season of miracles. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we will lift you up. We will in, encourage each other. We will bless each other, Father God. We will strengthen each other. We ask you, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus our Messiah, to touch all those that are standing in need of healing, a, t a healing realm, a healing balm of Gilead. Father, we ask you, Lord Jesus, that you touch them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Father God, let the the um their lungs um be clear of any infection of any any um mucus or anything that would harm them father we ask you lord jesus that you would touch their eyes their ears their mouths father god their limbs father god if they stand in need of limbs father you have storehouses 
Yes, I said it. Store houses. Hallelujah. With body parts. Hallelujah. That belong to us. So, Father God, we just declare completeness, wholeness, Father God. We ask you, Lord Jesus, for those that are struggling with cancer, the big C. We ask you, Lord Jesus, that the Holy Spirit would go and touch their bodies, touch their minds, touch their inner parts. Father, we ask you, Lord Jesus, that the Holy Spirit will burn it out of them in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Lord, we're looking for a miracle. We're asking you for miracles, miracles and miracles in this season of miracles. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're about to do in us, through us, and around us. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus for allowing the Holy Spirit to saturate us with love and comfort and peace. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing the Holy Spirit to saturate us with your goodness and your mercy. Hallelujah. Woo, we give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We ask you to word my mouth. Word my mouth in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, you know what? I I got on. I was like, hmm, I was studying a little bit. And I was like, oh, Lord, you didn't give me anything. But I just, you know what? When things like that happen, it's like, whoo, oh, he's going to bless you. He's going to bless you. So listen, let's go to Psalms 33. Oh, my goodness. I just feel the anointing. He's going to bless you. First of all, because you're obedient to listen, to come on. Hallelujah. You know what? Even before I read um, Psalm 33 in the Passion Translation, I just want to, oh, my goodness, I'm thirsty. And I keep, <laughs> mm. I just want you to know. Some of the, just some of the highlights of Hanukkah and the Hanukkah lightings and the meaning behind each night. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Listen to this. Now, last night was the first night of Hanukkah. Listen to this. Um, we speak unity. We acknowledge the unity of Christ. Hallelujah. The unity. Hallelujah. And that's for the first night. Now, tonight is the second night. Um, the union. Hallelujah. Union in agreement. Yes. That's not that's not what um the first night was, but it's the union, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and being unified. Hallelujah. Listen, the third night, which is Saturday, listen to this. This um tonight is also a Shabbat night, so that's that's very important. Listen to this. Um the third night, agreement of healing in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Whoo, my goodness, isn't that amazing? Listen to this. The fourth night, um, four is open doors. It's the creation or the door. Listen to this. Five, grace. We pray for grace, that the grace of God will abound, that you will be graceful throughout the new year, throughout this new season, throughout all of this. Um, the sixth night, understanding of our weakness. Listen, he bore our weakness. He bore the sins of us on the cross. Hallelujah. And we thank him for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seventh night, the seventh night, protection, Christ in us, the hope of glory. He give, oh, perfection, I'm sorry, perfection. He is, hallelujah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and he's the perfected one, the perfected, perfected one. And number eight, just like it is, glory to God is new beginnings. Hallelujah. Listen, write those down, write each and every one of those down because that is, that's phenomenal. And if you didn't get them, listen, just 
listen to this over again. But that's what each night of Hanukkah. Um, my husband and I, we do the lighting of the Hanukkah candles. We pray blessings into our home. We pray blessings into us in the, the, the nights of miracles, the nights of lights, the nights. who glory to God. Yes. So, yes, by all means, Christians should be doing the Hanukkah candle. Why not? You know? It's not going to hurt you. It's going to bless you. It's going to bless you. Bring light. Bring bring power. Bring unity. Bring love. Hallelujah. Bring all those things that I wrote down um, as the blessings of each night of Hanukkah. Listen, God, if God be for you, who can be against you? Listen, God wants us to know the truth. He wants us to live the truth. He wants us to, oh my goodness, there's so many blessings that people just don't get. They don't get the blessings. Why don't they get the blessings? Why don't they receive the blessings? There's, there's blessings in doing certain things, in honoring certain things, in honoring each other. Listen, let's go to Psalms 33. And I got to write the Passion Translation. Hallelujah. Ooh, this is a season of joy, a season of peace, a season of unity. Don't we get together with our families? Don't we, you know, if we don't have families, don't we get together with God? You know, who, my God, hallelujah, unity, peace, protection, perfection, love, light, hallelujah, grace, what is it? U unity, union, agreement of healing, um, creation or door, grace, um, understanding of, of our weakness, perfection, and new beginnings. Come on. That's cool. Psalms 33, starting with the first verse. I don't know why I'm parched right now. That is so weird. I'm going to grab a little, little tea right here. <laughs> and people are still getting on. Hallelujah. Listen to this. This is so awesome. So wonderful. Listen, um, Psalms 33, it's called, it's entitled A Song of Praise in the Passion Translation. Listen, it's time to sing and shout for joy. Go ahead, all you redeemed ones, do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise him with all you have. For praise looks live, uh, lovely on the lips of God's lovers. Hallelujah. Oh, I love that. Don't you love that? It looks lovely on the lips of God's lovers. Praise, that is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen to this. It says, play the guitar as you lift your, your praises loaded Hallelujah with thanksgiving. Sing and make joyous music with all. Hallelujah. You've got inside. You know what? In other words, praise him abundantly. Praise him with your all. Praise him. Don't don't praise him with um half-heartedly, but praise him Oh my goodness, with all you have. Listen, God knows if you're just praising him, just get a who oh, I just better praise the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Self-centered and and not even um wanting to praise him. Hi, Karen. Bless you. Wonderful. Listen, we've just gone over um the meaning of Hanukkah each night and and how Christians should um, light the Hanukkah candles, how, and they should, um, rejoice and praise and invite the Holy Spirit in, invite the love, the unity, the, um, the healing, the mercy, the grace, the, um, understanding of our weakness, the perfection of Christ and the new beginnings. Hallelujah. Those are some of the things. If you re-listen, you will hear some of the things that um that are for each night. Bless you, Karen. Bless you. Listen to this. I'm reading Psalm 
33 in the Passion Translation. It says, play the guitar as you lift your praises loaded with thanksgiving. Sing and make joyous music uh, with all that you've got inside. Ah, oh, Marcus, bless you. Listen, if I go, if I freeze, just wait. I'll come back on. <laughs> Listen to this. It says, compose new melodies, hallelujah, that release new praises to the Lord. Play uh, his praises on instruments with the anointing and skills uh, he's given you. Listen to this. Sing and shout with passion. We want to praise the Lord with passion. We want to give him all we've got. Hallelujah. Because he deserves every bit. He deserves it all. Oh my goodness. It's a sing and shout with passion. Make a spectacular sound of joy for God's word is something to sing about. He is true to his promises. Hallelujah. His word can be trusted and everything. Hallelujah. I said everything. Glory to God. Um, He does is reliable and right. Woo-hoo! Amen. Glory to God. Listen to this. It says the Lord loves um, seeing justice on the earth. Okay. He loves seeing justice on the earth. Now listen to this. Anywhere and everywhere you can find his faithful, unfailing love. All he had to do was, um, was speak by his spirit wind command. And God created the heavenlies filled with galaxies and stars, the vast cosmos. This is so good. Woo! He wonderfully made his voice scooped out the seats. I mean, the seas, the ocean depths. He poured into a vast reservoir. Hallelujah. Now with breathtaking wonder, let everyone worship. Hallelujah. I am still here. Yes, I am. Let everyone worship Yahweh. This awe-inspired uh, creator. Whoo, hallelujah. Words he breathed and worlds were breath or were birth. <laughs> were breath. <laughs> Woo! Marcus, say hi, Marcus. <laughs> He's watching, but say hello, Marcus. It's good to see you. Bless you. It says, let there be, and there it was, springing forth the moment he spoke. No sooner said said that than done was um, with his breath, he scattered the schemes in the nations, holly, the scenes and the nations who oppose him. Um, they will never succeed. Who did you hear that? His destiny plan, his destined plan for the earth stands stands sure his forever plan remains in place and with and will never fail blessed and prosperous is that nation who has god as their lord hallelujah listen this is just so good they will be the people he has um chosen for his own the lord looks over us um, from where he rules in heaven, gazing into every heart, hallelujah, from his lofty dwelling place. He observes all the people of the earth, the creator of our hearts. This is so good. I don't know why I'm so parched. Um, the creator of our hearts considers and examines everything we do. Even if a king has the best equipped army, it would never be enough to save him. Even if the best warrior went to battle, he would not be saved simply by his strength alone, human strength and the weapons of man are false hope for victory. They may seem, um, they may seem mighty, but they will always disappoint. 
We got to praise him. It says the eyes of the Lord are open. Even the weakest worshipers who love, love him. Those who wait in hope and expect expectation for the strong steady love of God God will deliver them forth from death hallelujah even the certain death of famine with no one to help the Lord alone is our radiant hope hallelujah Woo! he's our hope in time of sickness he's our hope in time of trouble he's our hope in time of despair he's our hope in time of need anytime you need the lord he's there and he will always be right by your side so call on him depend on him rely on him he's a good good father he's a good good savior he's a good good lord glory to god the Lord alone is our radiant hope and and we trust in him with all our hearts. His wrapped around presence will strengthen us. As we trust, we rejoice with an untamed joy, uncontained joy flowing from Yahweh. Let your love and steadfast kindness overshadow us. Hallelujah continually for we trust and we wait upon you glory to god in the highest Woo, glory hallelujah glory to god in the highest we wait on him we trust on him we believe in him listen he's uh he's the lord that cannot lie he can, he's he's not gonna hold back this is a season of miracles what do you need what do you stand in need of? We need to praise him and thank him before we see it. Thank him and praise him because it's not even in our mouth. You need healing. You need deliverance. You need to be set free. You need to be prosperous. Listen, let's just start thanking him for all his goodness. You need to be healed of something. Start thanking him and praising him. Get into worship because he's so worthy of all our praises. He's the worthy savior. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. Yeshua HaMashiach is his name. Jesus, our Messiah, the soon coming King. Listen, glory to God. I didn't even have much for you guys today, but I just want to praise him. I just want to thank him for his goodness and his mercy. Listen, once again, happy Hanukkah. Oh, hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Be blessed be encouraged, be strengthened, because if God be for you, who can be against you? Nobody. Listen, this is Debbie Paulson saying, pray for me as I pray for you. I'm praying for you. I'm interceding for you. I want to bless you. Hallelujah. And lift you up in encouragement. God is a great God. And just as I do that for you, you know what? God's sending people to do that for me. So it's a win-win. Hallelujah. We can't lose with the God that we chose. We can't lose with Yeshua HaMashiach. We can't lose because he's the God of gods and the Lord of lords, the King of kings, our soon coming King. Listen, have a blessed, wonderful weekend. Once again, happy Hanukkah, Shabbat Shalom. Be blessed, be encouraged, be strengthened, and know that if God be for you, who can be against you? No one. Love you much. Talk to you soon. Have a blessed weekend. Shabbat shalom.